This is the Weightlifting Geek, the intersection of technology and technique, and the home of the three, two, one. Each one! <laughs> I love it. Yo. I love it. I'm about to put, 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 put 800 up there. I'm there you go. We hype now. Um, Mondays and Fridays, we upload a weightlifting video. Tuesdays, we upload a technology video. Check out our social media. Check out our Amazon affiliate links. Let's get to the workout. So what are we going to talk about today for Tech Tuesday? So today we're going to talk about storage. We had a few of our subscribers that mentioned how they were looking forward to some storage videos that we kind of alluded to in the last Tech Tuesday. So we'll talk about some storage today and basically how it works. We won't dive too deep into the land of geek, but we will kind of cover some basics just so you have an understanding. Um, but before we do that, there's two things. First, I want to let you know that the new products are in turn this way so you can see it. So this is the Y adapter that we talked about. It has a cold shoe mount here and a cold shoe mount here. And what it allows us to do is to have multiple devices. And then our LED light is here. I'm trying to do this the right way. Like Vanna White. <laughs> it's been a long day and I'm being crazy. But and this LED is really nice because it does white as well as color and um, it has some settings on the back. So next week we'll do kind of a unboxing. Well, technically it's not going to be an unboxing because it's not in the box. What we'll do is a review. That sounds better, Joe. We'll do a review of the LED light and how it works. And then we'll also show you the whole setup with the, the bracket as well. That way we'll, um, you'll know what happens behind the scenes. So that's what we'll talk about next. And right now you see one of the videos where we were able to get one of our subscribers, Pierce Casey, to actually do our intro for us after the official intro to the video. And that's something that I really want to start doing for everybody because the initial intro was me and Taylor just being me and Taylor and it was so authentic and it's just, it's a really great intro. But then when you add a subscriber version of that intro right behind it, it's amazing. So um, if you haven't already, please go follow me on IG and um, send me your, your clip that way. And then I can make sure to add that to one of the videos. I'll make sure to let you know when it's going to drop. That way you won't miss the video. And it's just a way for me to be able to give back to the Geek Squad family. I appreciate all that you guys do. So what we're going to talk about today is storage. Now you have two different types of storage. You have RAM, which stands for read, ac read access memory. Um, no, random access memory. <laughs> And then you have ROM, which stands for read-only memory. So it's two different types. And that's why with the computer, you have your RAM, which is the memory that it uses to perform its speed. But then you also have a hard drive. So the RAM is that random access memory. In other words, in order for it to store anything, it has to have power. Then we get into what's called ROM, which is read-only memory. And basically what that means is even without power, it will store your data which as humans is what we want. If we cut our computer off, we don't want to lose everything. So that being the case, that's where the actual hard drive for a computer comes in. Now, what we use here on the Geek Squad, um, Geek Squad family, the weightlifting geek is this. It's an external hard drive. Let me see if I can do it this way so you can see it. Yeah, and if you notice, there's a little bit of a circle here and it goes all the way around. And this is the center. So inside this hard drive is some little platters. They look almost like CDs and they spin at a very high rate. And then over here, you have the arm and on the inside, there's a magnetic head that sits somewhere in here and it floats above and below the platters. So when the platters spin, the magnetic head reads that binary code and then it gives us our data. And then it comes out of the SATA ports and goes into the computer and all the other stuff. Um, so that's kind of how it works. Now, the problem with these is because it's because it has movable parts, if the magnetic head touches the platter, it's called a hard drive crash. Um, and I'm sure you've all heard of that. And that's basically what's happening. It's stopping that platter from spinning. And as a result, there's no way to read the data that's up there. 
The only way to do that is to physically open this up and put its internals into another hard drive and then go from there. And that's super expensive. That's something that I understand the concept of, but I've never done and don't have the desire to do. But anyway, that's how that works. But the problem is because it has movable parts, it is subject to shock. If something, if it hits something too hard, if it, if it falls or it jars too hard, then those heads can hit the platters and then we lose everything. Because this one hard drive has every single video that I've ever made for our YouTube channel. Um, now what we're getting ready to move to is what they call an SSD hard drive, which stands for solid state drive. And in essence, the solid state hard drive is a huge flash drive. So there are no movable parts in an SSD drive. It's basically a bunch of chips, like a flash drive, that allows for really fast read and write times to store for storage. So that being the case, an SSD drive can fall. It can be bumped because it doesn't necessarily matter. It's still going to be able to function. You don't have to worry about physical components going bad. And as a result, they normally last longer as well. So we are going to move to an SSD hard drive probably within the next month or so. Um, and basically what that means for us in the channel is it's important to always back up your data. This is a 500 gig hard drive. And for that reason, I need at least another 500 gig hard drive to be able to back up everything that's on this. So we're going to get a two terabyte SSD hard drive. And if you look right here, you'll see what we're going to get. Uh, it's on Amazon and I'm also going to show you the enclosure. So you'll see the enclosure as well. I'll put both of those right there on the screen. And that's going to allow us to have basically eight times the storage that we currently have now. And that enclosure is waterproof and dustproof and shockproof. So between the enclosure and the SSD, there's nothing for us to worry about. So I'm really excited to move toward that. Um, but I kind of wanted you to understand what storage is and how it works. And um, that's why when we talked about our other um, Tech Tuesday about how the computers that are on sale often have some inferior components. So a uh, computer that's on sale may not have a five gig hard drive a 500 gig hard drive. It may only have a 30 gig hard drive or a 60 gig hard drive. And what that means is you run out of space to store stuff. Windows within itself takes up a good 30 gigs. So if you have a 60 gig hard drive, you don't have much left. And if you have a 30 gig hard drive, then as Windows 10s come out, there's no space for anything. So that's basically how that works. Um, and then the enclosure that I currently have is just a little metal enclosure that I got off of um, eBay or Amazon, there's nothing fancy to it. It has no um, rubberized protection, shockproof. The, literally the only thing it does is stop you from being able to see the external drive because it just goes in and it clicks like that. And then the drive sits inside of it. And then we put the other cover on and voila, an external hard drive enclosure. Um, it's cheaper to do it this way because as you just saw, the um, hard drive that we're going to get is $100 and it's a 200 ter a two terabyte hard drive. Um, looking at the SanDisk, which is an SSD as well, uh, really good company. The pre-made external hard drives that are SSD that they sell are $200. So I spent $100 on an SSD hard drive. I spent $20 on an um, enclosure. Well, technically 89 for the hard drive and 20 for the enclosure. So I saved $90 and I have the exact same thing that's even better and it's cheaper. And for the weightlifting geek, cheaper and high quality is always the direction that we go. So um, as we grow, we're going to be able to do more. We're going to get better microphones, better hard drives. And, and I, I want you to be able to I want to be able to document and share with you the progression as we go. So I wanted you to understand what a hard drive was, how they work, how they function, their purpose. And um, it's always easier to buy an external hard drive and buy more storage space than it is to buy the same amount of storage space built into the computer. It's always more expensive that way. So that's why I always have an external hard drive. Um, now there is another type of storage that I will mention briefly that has become popular and it's cloud storage. Apple has iCloud, um, 
Microsoft has OneDrive. I believe Amazon has some type of cloud service. Um, and in essence, what it is, is these companies have a huge server farm with hundreds and thousands of hard drives within them. And then when you buy space on the cloud, they give you a certain chunk of one of those hard drives and you're able to access it online. And you can access it anywhere you go as long as you have an internet connection. Now, I live in the country of North Carolina, so sometimes I don't always have an internet connection. Um, but with the external hard drive, I can always take my laptop and I can edit my videos between two pine trees, listening to the squirrels and the deers and the frogs. And then when I get back to civilization, I can upload. But if I'm depending strictly on cloud storage, that wouldn't be possible. And if I lived in more of a metropolitan area, such as Raleigh or um, Charlotte or, or so on and so forth, then it may be better for me to have some type of cloud storage because my internet speeds would be faster and I would have a better internet connection. But it is what it is. I'm a country boy. So me and the external hard drives, that's what we do. But like I said, I don't want to keep Tech Tuesday too long. I think this is probably one of the longest I begin to ramble about technology. I could do this all day. But um, I did want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the support. We are going and we're growing. Today is August the 8th and we are at 327 subscribers. So each and every day we grow. Um, one of the things that we're looking to do moving forward is to get a second tripod and then we'll have two cameras for better angles. It's just, it's going to be amazing. So there's all kinds of things we're, we got planned. Um, a lot of stuff coming. We're still working on the merch. Um, make sure you follow us on Instagram and TikTok. You'll be the first to know when things happen. So I thank you all for your support. I hope you guys have a great day. But before we end, what do we always say? Stay strong, stay positive, stay active. Geek Squad! I hope you guys have a good evening.